this one is called people who are super critical of anime which honestly i am i am pretty critical but i wonder how sweaty he's gonna get talking about let's see it what's going on man you seen any new anime lately uh, uh i just started a psychopath <laughs> psychopath yo ain't that a good anime Psychopaths is like a. It's one of those animes that people always say and recommend it to watch, right? Mid. Oh no, Mid. I think it's pretty good. Um. Oh, I'm also finishing up Naruto. You might as well go watch a trash can. Nah, now I will not take the Naruto slander. Pre, time skip. Pre Shippuden Naruto, bro. You cannot tell me that's not fucking peak. Naruto anime pre time skip, bro. That shit is amazing. Go outside and watch a garbage truck drive around the corner all day because that shit is filth. It's garbage. It's waste. Anytime people say this shit, ask them. Give me five good reasons why Naruto's trash. You don't have a genuine fucking talking point. You just hating on it for the sake of hating on it. 95% filler, 1% canon, 4% plus 350% a waste of your fucking time. And regarding the filler, yes, the most common talking point when trying to shit on Naruto is too much filler. And let me change your mind. I think that filler is the reason why Naruto anime is better paced and delivers on canon episodes compared to One Piece. Because of the fillers, the anime can schedule around and actually make impactful episodes. While if you don't have filler, you're going to get fucking the One Piece treatment, baby. What do you get? One minute of wealth, fame, power, I left it all there, one piece opening, three minute recap, five minute original content, intermission, two minute finale, ending, and then you get the fucking recycled garbage slop of seven minutes of fucking actual content into the recap the next episode. Mm -mm. Well, um, I also started uh, My yeah. Hero Academia. My Caveman Academia! <laughs> Let me tell you why. I hope you burn your tongue on hot soup. My hero is the worst. Most. I hear like the couple seasons were actually really good in the beginning, though. Then it kind of started to fall off. Then it started to get really good. And I don't know, but there's a lot of fucking drama with that show. Repetitive, most boring anime to date. The worst side characters. The most terrible MC ever created. And the plots. Okay. Garbage! Dragon Ball Z. Hey, you have Dragon Ball right behind you, bro. I see that Dragon Ball Z poster, and you have Tokyo Ghoul here. Almost fucking knocked your fucking head off your fucking head. We fucking get it. Goku is the fucking strongest. He's gonna keep getting stronger while the king of all Saiyans keeps coming second. Oh my god, I hope so. True. Vegeta needs some fucking. He. Vegeta needs better representation, man. I love Vegeta. Somebody punches a hole through Goku chest. Attack on Titan? He didn't say anything! He didn't say anything here! Attack on Titan? Great anime. I don't know about the ending, but great anime. Let me tell you why. Yeah? The umbilical cord should have wrapped around your neck and killed Jesus. you. And your mother should have died during childbirth. And the rest of your family got cancer stage seven. Oh my god! Convoluted storyline. Is it convoluted? Or is it just people that says this shit? They're self-reporting their lack of intellect. Trash supporting characters. Are they trash supporting characters? Misaka? Armin? Jean, who I think has one of the greatest fucking character developments in all of season one. Connie, <laughs> Potato Girl, I don't know. Like Reiner, Berhold, all of them, aren't they good? Armin's relevancy yeah. is the equivalent to Sakura. Nah, nah, that's so wrong. That's so wrong. Armin puts in fucking work. When you have nothing to hope for, you ask Armin for a plan and he fucking delivers to the point where he even like throws away his humanity and does the most fucked up shit where he like whispers this nasty shit into the ears of Bertolt and Ryan. Remember that shit? No, bro. Armin's so good it's compared to Sakura. Come on, man. Nigga. Come One on. Piece. One Piece anime, pre time skit really good, after time skit, uh, pacing issues, right? 
greatest Fiction. anime and manga of all time. And I'm not even... Honestly, I agree. I agree. I don't, I don't know what the anime, but the manga, I think it contests. It's anime and manga of all time. And I'm not even being biased. That's just facts. <laughs> Remember, Griffey is just playing all a character. Time, Get out of here, Atrioc! So Remember, is this is all just Griffey playing a fucking character of people who are too critical of anime. But look, he's got like Assassination Classroom, Dragon Ball Z, Tokyo Ghoul here. And then what was the other poster here? There was another poster on the left-hand side, but... Nah, man. I think Naruto anime pretty good, right? One Piece pretty good. What? Attack on Titan pretty good. I'm surprised he didn't shit on Unga Bunga Slayer. I'm surprised he didn't bring in fucking Fairy Tail, right? <laughs> but hey, please go give Griffy a like. Check out his channel if you haven't. He makes great fucking skits. Rarely does he make anime skits, but some of the others, most of the other skits, they're fucking bangers. I'll see you on the next one.